In fact, there are just three courses that you really need to break into data science. You won't waste months preparing to live your life. You'll be living it and learning on the way. NumPy, Pandas, Scikit-Learn and Matplotlib. Just stupid. Remember, the goal is to learn smarter, not harder. I think you'll find it eye-opening and encouraging. There will be no stopping you. In this video, I'll share seven key tips to learn data science effectively so you can fast track your progress and avoid the mistakes that hold so many people back. Stick around because tip number seven is a game changer that I wish I knew starting out. Before we jump in, remember, learning data science is a journey, not the overnight sprint. Each of these tips comes with a takeaway and a clear benefit for you. Don't get trapped in tutorial hell. That is that endless loop of online tutorials, courses and videos where you feel busy but aren't actually building anything. I know the comfort. You finish a tutorial and feel accomplished. But then you realize that you cannot do anything on your own. I've been there. In fact, there are just three courses that you really need to break into data science. And I'll lay them out for you in this video. Break out by working on a small project as soon as possible. Even a simple analysis on a data set you like will cement your skills more than 10 more tutorials. And yes, doing Kaggle competitions can count as a project. Just be sure to truly understand what you are doing and not just copy-paste somebody else's work. In short, stop collecting badges and start creating projects. The confidence you gain from creating something yourself is huge and it shows what you truly understand and highlight what you need to practice. So skip the 10th tutorial in a row and build something. You'll thank yourself later. Now, once you start building, you might wonder what tools do I use? And that brings us to tip number two. Focus on the tool set and master the basics first. Pick one primary tool set and stick with it, especially at the start. Don't overwhelm yourself trying to learn Python and R and SQL and all the new libraries all at once. Instead, focus on just one. Frankly speaking, in most data science projects, you can get away with just four libraries. NumPy, Pandas, Scikit-Learn and Matplotlib. Early in my career, I made a mistake of trying to learn every new framework I read about on Medium. And looking back, I can see that it was a complete waste of time. More than that, it overcomplicated things. I remember doing missing values imputation with nine different machine learning models as an ensemble with hyperparameter tuning and five-fold cross-validation. Just stupid. By zeroing in on a single tool set, you build depth in your knowledge much faster. Mastering Python's basics means you'll be able to tackle real problems sooner. It's like learning one instrument instead of half learning five instruments. You'll create better music much faster. Plus, employers value depth. They'd rather see you really know one language or a toolkit than be mediocre at three. So save time by learning one thing deeply, then expand later. And speaking of depth, let's make sure you are building on a strong foundation. So on to tip number three. Master the fundamentals of Python programming before chasing fancy models. I know from my own experience that learning data science from scratch and programming language together is incredibly hard. And I get it. Machine learning and AI are the shiny objects for many data scientists and everybody is eager to jump right in. But here is the truth. Without solid fundamentals, you'll hit a wall really fast. First, you must ensure you're comfortable with basic Python, writing functions, loops, using libraries and core concepts like data structures. This course will give you all the Python you need to proceed to the next step. And that's a professional way. After this, you can take a traditional data science course, just one this one. Here you will learn all the right data science libraries and how to use them to read, clean, process the data, do feature engineering, model training, tuning and evaluation. And if you want to break into deep learning, which you eventually should, there is also just one fundamental course. Well, technically it's a specialization with four courses, but you really need just the first two. After you will have solved a neural network manually on a piece of paper, there will be no stopping you. And that's exactly what you will learn in this course. I'll link all of them below and this will be the foundation on top of which you will build your data science career. Just remember the sequence. Python first, traditional data science next, and deep learning fundamentals at the end. Not the other way around. Strong basics save you time long term. When you nail the fundamentals, every new tool or algorithm becomes easier to learn. You can debug problems faster because you understand what's going on under the hood. For example, if you know Python well, picking up a new library is a breeze. Or if you decide to try a new machine learning framework, well, guess what? 99% chance that its methods will be identical to the gold standard scikit-learn, which you will become acquainted to in the second course. You won't waste time confused by the results. You'll just know what they mean. 
Ready for the next tip? Let's talk about learning by doing. Here is a habit that will save you months. When you hit something you don't understand, don't immediately look for a new course. That's the slowest way to learn. Instead, learn the real skill of any good data scientist and any software engineer for that matter. Unblock yourself quickly. Most people treat confusion like a sign they need a whole new 20 hour course. No, confusion is a sign that you need a five minute answer. How to do it? Google the specific issue. In most cases, you won't even need to go beyond the AI generated response. It will all be explained there. If you don't understand something, ask ChatGPT to explain the concept, fix your error, but don't just copy paste. Make sure that all of it is crystal clear before you use the proposed solution. Check the official documentation. It's made for engineers by engineers and since you're learning to become an engineer learn to read documentation this is how real developers and data scientists work daily when they're stuck they find a solution themselves and get it done small steps every day consistency beats intensity when learning data science or anything really it's far better to practice even just an hour a day instead of cramming eight hours on a random weekend and then going idle for a month, make data science a habit. It's like going to the gym. You won't see muscles after one marathon workout, but daily exercise work wonders. Early in my journey, I had bursts of enthusiasm coding for 12 hours straight, only to find myself burned out in a week and take a long break after which, especially at the start, I would forget everything I learned. Steady progress always outpaces sporadic bursts. You might feel like you are moving slowly, but you're actually building momentum. Consistent routine ensures you retain knowledge and continuously build on it, which saves time because you won't keep forgetting and relearning things. Practice is key. Complex topics will click after repeated exposure. By showing up regularly, you will train your brain to learn much faster. Plus, consistency shows future employees your dedication. For example, when they see your GitHub commit history on your profile that you were doing as you were learning. Now, consistency doesn't mean that you have to do it all alone, which leads us to the next tip. You don't have to do this alone, and honestly, you shouldn't. The fastest learners all have one thing in common. They surround themselves with people who are slightly ahead of them. Whether it's a mentor, a study buddy, or an online community, you need people who can guide, answer questions, and help you avoid rookie mistakes. When taking those courses, engage in the comments section with fellow learners, ask questions, answer them, communicate. If you have someone that's already in the business, ask them for a mentorship. One hour a week of direct communication with a professional and their feedback will help you incredibly. I've been there myself on both sides of the fence. When I was just learning, I was fortunate to have a data science practitioner whom I could consult with. And it was a lifesaver, really. As I progressed, I mentored dozens of people who were moving along the same path. Trust me, this is important. And a good mentor doesn't have to be some superstar data scientist. It could be someone on LinkedIn who is one or two steps ahead, a colleague at work, maybe someone you met in a Discord or Reddit data science community, a person whose GitHub projects you admire, even a friend alongside you, as long as they can push you. Why it matters? A mentor can tell you what to focus on and more importantly, what to avoid. They can look at your project and say, fix this one part first which can save you a ton of time from going into a totally different direction. A community gives you encouragement, accountability, and exposure of better ways of doing things. Instead of wandering blindly for months, you learn from someone who's already walked the path. It compresses your learning, boosts your confidence, and keeps you moving even when the things get tough. Don't wait to feel ready. So many aspiring data scientists hold themselves back thinking I'll start applying for jobs when I master everything or I can't share my project yet because it's not good enough. Newsflash, you'll never know everything and that's okay. Embrace the fact that you'll feel uncomfortable at times, all the time in the beginning. The key is to start before you feel 100% ready. Apply for that internship or entry-level job even if you take only 70% of requirements. Because guess what, even if you're a great data scientist already, job search takes time. So start applying for every single opening after your second course. A good chance that you'll secure your first interview and that will be another major milestone. You will learn what a data scientist interview is all about. Taking action gets you real-world feedback and experience that accelerates your growth. You'll iterate and improve faster by putting yourself out there than by hiding until you think you're flawless. Employers actually embrace enthusiasm and willingness to learn over know it all. Every data scientist, even with 10 years of experience, is still learning every day. We all feel behind sometimes. 
by embracing imperfection, you will overcome analysis paralysis and actually move forward. You won't waste months preparing to live your life. You'll be living it and learning on the way. It's a huge time saver and a confidence booster. So hit that run button on your project, share it, apply for the role, and be proud of being a work in progress. Keep these tips in mind and you'll cut out so much wasted effort in your data science journey. Remember, the goal is to learn smarter, not harder. Check out the links to those courses in the description below. And if you find these tips helpful, hit that like button, subscribe, and feel free to drop a comment about your own learning struggles and wins. This channel is still young and I read and answer all the comments. Finally, I want to leave you with a bit of inspiration. Every struggle, every bug, every eureka moment, it's all building you into a better professional. Keep going. And if you need proof of unconventional paths that can lead to success, check out my video where I share how I quit my high paying oil and gas job to become a data scientist. In that video, I'll dive into my personal journey and the ups and downs of transitioning careers. I think you'll find it eye-opening and encouraging, especially if you're transitioning from a completely different field or feel uncertain about your background. Thanks for watching.